there is com- a, a complete and intense amount of infighting happening on the Republican side in this state. And I don't think that necessarily means that they're going to be unsuccessful this year if they can harness some type of national wave, if that continues. That doesn't mean that they'll be unsuccessful. I mean, they have a lot of energy. You know, I, I cover their meetings that they have, some of these local meetings that they have. They're having a lot of people show up. There's a lot of fights happening, so that spurs more people to show up at these meetings and take sides in these things. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, the, the Republican Party in our state, the leadership of the Republican Party uh, is, is siding with Donald Trump and alienating a lot of the establishment donor base that has funded the party for a long time. A lot of the traditional candidates that have been able to win elected office in this state do not like the the past that the leadership of the party is taking. And it's going to lead to more and more divides. And at the same time, I mean, I, I laughed when you started the question because the Democrats in this state right now are extremely organized. I mean, they have a Democratic governor, an attorney general, and a secretary of state who are all going to be up for re-election. They know who their candidates are on the Democratic side. They know who their leaders are, and they're falling in line and, and getting ready for, for this vote. You know, this is a battleground state, though, so it's not still a guarantee of success. 